this is Nick again, and we are continuing on the training of worms. And my cat Solo, well, he ate half of him, and he's not worm. half of the worm, and he's not doing so well. So, it's moving a little bit slower than yesterday. But as you can see, he's right there, the half that the cat did not eat. <laughs> Just let him go, Nick. And the time when we started was 7.30 p.m. Do you know any facts about worms, Nick? Um, yes. Some people call them night crawlers because they come above the ground to feed at night. Very good. And our worm friend is slowly moving. And earthworms can grow up to 8 centimeters long. Oh wow. It's pretty long. This guy here is what? 3 inches fully stretched out? Before? Well, after he got eaten? <laughs> At least he's doing well. Let's put him right no, here. No, not yet. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to right. go in the same spot. <clears throat> and earthworms can dig up to 65 feet. That's a long way down. Is there anywhere where earthworms are not found? Um, they aren't found in snowy or icy climates. How about the desert? They don't live there. They live in not too dry and not too wet climates. Yeah, it sounds like they don't like a lot of heat and a lot of cold either, huh? Well, he's come a little way. And whenever they move through the ground. So it's right there. Sorry, Nick. And whenever they move through the ground, they aerate it. Aerate it. I have read somewhere that there is not one inch of soil anywhere in the world that an earthworm has not gone through. It's okay, he's used to twigs. <clears throat> Let him find his own way, bud. He's going on this ground. He thinks he's back home, probably. Probably gonna go under here and probably end up right here. Well, remember he's injured also, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or he's trying to sleep. Trying mm -hmm. to not let his head just came up. Trying to not let the cat eat him again.
Big Tower. Really starting to gain some ground again. Yep. He's probably smelling. Well, last time we conducted this experiment, prior to the worm being half-eaten, he took five minutes to get to the apple each time. And right now, the time is 7.39, so he's taken twice as long just to get where he's at, but he's hurt. He's a little disabled at the moment. At least she's doing what we want him to do. And most earthworms can live up to six, year, six years in the wild. It's a long time. How long do they live in captivity, do you think? Um, two years. Or three, if they're lucky. Two or three? Why do you think that is? Because they don't get enough food supplies they need from us. Just like most creatures, huh? Once they're in captivity, they don't tend to live as long. You can see him, right? There's his head. And he's getting there. He's taking frequent breaks this time, though.
Do you know why we use the red light bulb, Nicholas? Um, because they don't live in the sun and they don't, the red light doesn't affect them. They don't like sunlight, they only come out at night. That's why they're called? Night crawlers. <clears throat> there we go, now he's moving towards the apple. <laughs> yep. Took six minutes. Took longer than that. We've been recording for over 11. This buddy is a fast anymore. Ever since he got his half body and eaten off and Well, since we're almost at the 15 minute mark, he's almost there, yep. but I can only post a video up to 15 minutes in length on YouTube, so if he does not reach the apple, I will post in the comments how long it took him to get there. And then we will conduct our third experiment shortly after posting. And this is episode two. Well, he's almost there. You can see his head right there. Got to a rock. Well, he definitely went the way he was conditioned to go yep. through our prior experiments. Okay, well that will conclude experiment number two. He is less than half an inch away from the bottom of the apple there. And Nicholas will be posting the results in the comment section of the YouTube video. Bye-bye.